Allison, and for today's video, we're doing a no squats lower body routine. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. The only equipment you need is a pair of moderate or heavy weights and a mat. We'll be completing 12 exercises for two rounds each, 30 seconds on and a 20 second rest in between. A warm up and cool down is also included. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's warm it up. Go ahead and start giving me some small kicks right in front. Shaking up the ankles, gradually bringing the heart rate up. Our workout is all lower body today, so that's what our warm up is gonna focus on as well. If you wanna add a little bit of upper body, you can add some small punches. Keeping the abs tight, standing tall. Start to make the kicks a little bit bigger if you're feeling good. Good. Let's do this for about another 10 seconds. You're looking great. In five, Four, three, go right into step touches, side to side. So step touches, knees are soft, heels are down. The bigger that you go, the um, quicker your heart rate's gonna go up. But if you're still wanting to keep it a little bit lighter, make the movement smaller. Very nice. Stay here, stay here for eight, seven, six. We're gonna keep those same legs. All right, adding the arms, give me a nice big reach and pull. It's always nice to get a good chest and shoulder stretch in. <laughs> Very nice. Stay there. 10 seconds. Breathe. You're doing great. Three, two, and nice light march. All right. Now, since we're not doing any squats in this routine, which is nice, we still want to try to get those quads and those knees warmed up a little bit. So hands on the quads, feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart. Go ahead, give me a nice slot back. Round up halfway, flat back, and then round all the way up. And then do that again. So we're gonna bend those knees, flat back, round, flat back, round all the way up. Let's do that two more times at your own pace. Flat back, again, little bend of those knees, round all the way up. Beautiful, one more time. Flat back, halfway round, flat back, all the way up. Keeping those legs wide, tap it out, shake it out a little bit. Good. Stay there. Adding a little torso rotation. We're gonna reach diagonal up. Very nice. Stay there. This is what the side view looks like. 10 more seconds. Awesome. Keeping it lateral, plant those feet, lunge side to side. Lunge, lunge. You can add a little elbow pullback. Shifting side to side. This is warming up those abductors, your outer thighs, and the glutes, and also some inner thighs. Very nice. For eight, seven, six, five, here's four, three, two, one. Walk it in, shake it out. All right, and if you have a wall, top of a chair, top of a couch or table, place your hand on top for balance. Let's do some leg swings with the outside leg. We're gonna swing forward and then lift back, squeezing the glutes. Ready, about 20 seconds. Keep your base knee soft, all your weights there. Just like before, standing tall, abs are engaged. Breathe. If this is too big of a swing, you can definitely make it smaller. Eight more seconds. Now we'll switch sides. In five, four, three, two, and one. Light march, shake it out. Turn around, face the other way. 20 seconds, other leg. So grab your steady surface, face knee soft, abs in, and let's swing forward and back. Nice and easy, and breathe. Good. You're doing great, 10 seconds. Staying there. We're almost done with this warm up. just a couple more things. In four, three, two, and one, very, very good. All right, just to get those hamstrings warmed up a little bit more, we're gonna, we did small kicks earlier. Now let's do a modified toy soldier. So for toy soldiers, we're gonna keep the legs straight, soft knee, and lift up and down. And with this, I am gonna add a little bit of upper body reach. Again, we're not aiming to really have to touch the toes. I'm gonna keep a short range of motion. Very nice. Breathe. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Very good. One more time, hands on the quads, feet a little wider than the shoulders apart. Flat back down. Let's round up halfway this time. Dip one shoulder in, look over the other. Good. Center up, other way. And center up, round all the way up. One vertebrae at a time, head and shoulders last. Once you're on top, three shoulder rolls back. Three goes forward. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale out, one more time, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, good job. Grab a quick drink, grab your weights, and I'll meet you back here. To kick off your workout, we're doing a set of good mornings. For the good mornings, we're actually not gonna hold any weights, but instead focus on getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings and get everything in that posterior chain warmed up. All right, so feet about shut width apart, soft bend in the knees, hands slide behind the head, pull those elbows back. Engage the core and focus on keeping the back flat when we hinge forward. We're gonna inhale, keep your gaze down, and then exhale, lift up, squeeze the glutes on top. Inhale, and then exhale, lift. Remember, we're doing each exercise for 30 seconds on with a 20 second rest in between. Feel free to modify this move by shortening the range of motion, only going part way down and then come right back up. grab one or two of your weights. We're doing a set of stationary lateral lunges. Place those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart, palms face in, shoulders back, abs in. All we're gonna do is shift side, staying low to side, keeping those hips and shoulders square to the front. Feel free to remove the weights and shorten the range of motion. Hands on the hips and do a light lateral lunge side to side instead. We're doing a standing over the rainbow. Now, just like earlier, have a steady surface like a wall, top of a chair, or table, place your inside hand on. I'm gonna open up my hips so you can see what my leg looks like. Outside legs are gonna work, inside knee soft, over the rainbow. Trace a little rainbow arch in front, and then bring it back. over the rainbow on the other side. Turn and face the other direction. Place your hand on your flat surface. Face knee soft, outside leg's gonna work, toe down. Go forward and then bring it back. And really think about squeezing the glutes when that leg comes backside. we're gonna do a single leg kickstand Romanian deadlift. Having the weight in one hand and the same foot forward, 
Other foot is back with the ball of the foot down, heels down. Shoulder back, abs are tight. Inhale, hinge forward, keeping a soft bend in the knee, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Come up, squeeze the glutes on top. Also focus on keeping that back nice and flat. Let's repeat that kickstand Romanian deadlift on the other side. Weights in the left hand, left foot forward, kickstand back the other leg. Again, ball the foot down, heels up, shoulder back, abs tight. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale up. Remember, you want to feel it in the hamstrings. If you start to feel it behind the knee, you're down a little bit too far. you and do a set of mini plie calf raises. So holding on to again your wall or steady surface. For these plies, notice my feet are in the shape of a V. Toes are flared out, heels are coming in. All I'm going to do is lift up all the way on those toes and then bring it down, feeling those calves.
bridges with adductor squeezes. So lie all the way down on your back and then once you're here you're going to have your feet closer together and your knees flaring out. Upper body stays relaxed, engage the core, inhale, exhale, lift those hips up, bring those knees in like they're clapping together, open and then lower. Exhale up, clap in, open and down. we're focusing on outer thighs. We're going into a modified side plank position and doing leg lifts. So whatever side you want to start with, that's all right. We're going to take elbow down, making a 90 degree. We're going to have the inside knee down, lift the hip, uh, hip up. Extend the outside leg, and all we're going to do is raise up and down, really engaging the core and keeping that spine long.
leg lift on the other side. Go ahead and take it down. And remember, we're gonna have our elbow down, knee down, inside hip lifted. Extend that outside leg and lift up and down to the outer thigh. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to. Doing what we need to do. Staying up all night. Everything is alright. Oh, I wanna be with you. Oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your head. exercise, we're focusing on inner thighs and doing a set of froggers. While on your back, extend the legs up and flex the feet. We're going to drop it down, heels stay together, toes and knees flare out, and then press up, bring those knees together so they're pretty much touching. Inhale down, exhale, press up. let's go into a tabletop position. We're doing alternating glute presses to fire hydrants. Now for this move, we're gonna flex the foot, extend all the way for the glute, bring it down, lift to the side for the fire hydrant. And then repeat other side. Press up for the glute press, out to the side. Kissing under street lights, doing what we want to, doing what we need to do. Staying up all night, everything is all right. Oh, I wanna be with you.
Great job with that workout. Let's finish off with a nice quote on and stretch. Let's take it into a child's pose position. Staying on the knees, hands are forward. Inhale, exhale, sink those hips back. Walk those fingertips away. Take deep breaths, inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth, let it all out. Good, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Sink back a little bit deeper for the stretch. And one more time, inhale, breathe and exhale out. Good. Gently round that spine back onto all fours. Take those knees the width of your mat. We're gonna do those frog rockers and really open up those hips again. Inhale, sink back. Actually, exhale, sink back. And then inhale, rock forward. There we go. Exhale, sink back, let those shoulders round. Inhale, forward. Taking your time with this movement. You can take this um, sink back and extension as deep as you'd like. Just make sure not to overly extend that back when you're coming forward. Very nice. Team work your own speed. Take it back. And then one more right here. Sink back. And then bring it up. Very, very nice. All right, go ahead and bring those knees in just a little bit. We're gonna set one foot forward. Fingertips frame that front leg. We're in a low lunge. From here, opposite hand down. Open up that top arm, look at the hand. If you're not feeling this rotation, keep both fingertips down on the ground. Good, hold this. And then inhale, exhale, set the hand down, frame the front foot, walk it back, and your front toe is gonna to naturally come up Keep the knee soft, and we're stretching out the hamstrings. Good. Slowly drop that toe, walk the hands forward, and then just wiggle it out, and we're gonna transition right to a lizard. So for this one, I'm gonna flatten out the top of my back foot. Different ways you can do this, hands down, stay here. You can take it down to your forearms. You can open up this knee a little more, add a little twist. Whatever feels good for you today. Do that stretch, deep breaths in, exhale through the mouth, good. Take one more breath in and out, good. And then on your next inhale, if you open up the knee, walk it back in, hands on the inside part of that foot, swoop it back, inhale, exhale back to a child's pose, reset. Deep breath, inhale, and then exhale out. Inhale, shift forward. And then let's go ahead and bring that other leg forward into that low lunge. Fingertips frame the foot. Remember, you can stay here or have the opposite hand down. Open up that top arm. Good. Breathing right through. One more breath in. And then exhale, set it down. Walk it back for your hamstring. Let that front toe naturally come up, keeping the knee soft. Fingertips staying down for balance. 
And you know this, I say this every time, if you need to hold these stretches longer than what we're doing in this video. And walk it forward and hold, good. And then we're gonna wiggle that foot out for your lizard. Flatten it out. Remember your options, you can do whatever you like, forearms, rotation, twist, whatever feels good for you today. And go ahead, center this up, rotate around, bring this leg back, inhale, exhale, last child's pose. Deep breath in, exhale out, and one more time, inhale, breathe, and exhale out. Carefully walk those fingertips back, and you're all done for today. Great job. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job on completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.